Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shadow Wraith, and today I'm going to be going over which one are we going to be bringing more of in Death Guard going into the new Codex. Blight Lord Terminators or Plague Marines? Because I think they're the top two contenders. Now, I haven't counted out Death Shroud Terminators, I think they're absolutely fantastic, but we've got two core units here that are fighting for my top spot. And Death Shroud Terminators, I think just will... Well, I don't know, I haven't seen the points, but I think they're going to be too expensive. But who knows? This is all speculation at the end of the day, but but it's educated speculation. So I've had a look at all the things that we've been teased and stuff we know, and I'm going over what we've got available to us. So let's go with Plague Marines, the classic Plague Marines. Absolutely fantastic in 8th edition... Uh, well, now in 9th they got even better, Death Guard in t like overall got better with how 9th edition works, and we'll quickly go over what Plague Marines bring to the table. Now, Plague Marines are incredibly tough for the Marine equivalents, because they're toughness 5, right? They got the 3-up save, and they did have the 5-up shrug. No longer have they got the 5-up shrug, okay? Instead of that, they're now going up to 2 wounds apiece, which all Astartes are, including the Dirty Loyalists, but we are included, so there'll be two wounds a model, but with an inbuilt minus one to the damage, to a minimum of one, okay? And I'll go over more of that in a minute. We've got the melee weapons have got buffed, or some nerfed, uh, but primarily the, the buffs have been the bubonic axe going up to plus two strength, okay? And we've got the plague swords now being plus one strength, and... Minus 3 AP, which is fantastic. Obviously, the axes are minus 2 AP, but we got plus 2 strength. The flail's got a little bit of a nerf, not massive, to being only plus 1 strength, minus 2, 2 damage. But, hey, hey, we don't know what the rules are for them yet. And I know for a fact, someone who's tested them, or whatever, it's been floating around the internet if you haven't heard it, but they've come out with flails are going to be fantastic. Okay? So we don't know if they spill over like they used to, or what they do. All we know is they are going to be pretty good. So, that sums that up. Um, with the minus one damage, okay? It's not as bad as people think it is. I think it's relatively okay. Sure, if you've got an army tailored against Death Guard with a ton, high EP, high strength, one damage weapons, yeah, you're going to lose Plague Marines. Doesn't mean you're going to lose the game, but you're going to lose Plague Marines. Don't cry. But it also makes it a lot harder because a lot of lists in the meta are designed to kill marines, okay? So flat 2 damage. That is the main thing. Flat 2 damage to kill Primaris marines. That completely throws a spanner in the works when you're fighting against Death Guard because now rather than needing 1 overcharged plasma, you need 2, okay? Or you can fire them both normally, but it's up to you. A lot of things have gone from D3 damage to just 2 damage which means we're negating 50% of whatever that damage output is. So like Power Fists, for example. And the other key point to this is they're going to be cheaper than Blight Lord Terminators. Because if they're not, there's something wrong, or Plague Marines are going to have something fantastic on their data sheet, or whatever you want to call it. Some magical rule. But they're going to be cheaper. I know they will be. Moving on, we've got Blight Lord Terminators. I love Blight Lord Terminators. They're fantastic. They've gone up from two wounds to three wounds each, and that's very important for this in a minute, which I'll go over. They've got absolutely fantastic shooting. The Plague Marines did, but without all the buffs. I mean, they're still pretty good, so they're all rapid-firing like these guys are. But the Blight Lords have always been fantastic at chucking shots down the range. Four shots each at 24 inches is horrible, rather than the Plague Marines two shots each at 24 inches now, because of their relentless advance and stuff. Um, melee is also fantastic, same as the Plague Marines. Uh, the Bubonic Axes, I'm going to see for my lists being really key because it's just the plus two strength making a plus uh, strength six is awesome for the fact that we now have the contagions of nurgle ability so if you're in close combat they're going to be in range of contagions of nurgle ability so you'll force your enemy to be minus one toughness your plus two strength making you strength six and that means you're wounding them on twos and we know plague weapons are remaining the same they're re-roll ones to wound which means you are wounding Primaris Marines at Toughness 4 that are going down to Toughness 3 on 2's re-rolling ones with minus 2 damage. So, yeah, that's very scary. Very, very scary. Yeah, we've also got access to flails with these guys and 
The other thing I want to mention is Plague Marines only have a 3 plus save, which is fantastic, don't get me wrong. With the cover bonuses, you can get them to a 2 plus save. But Blight Lord Terminators have got a 2 plus save. Stick them in cover, and they're not going anywhere. Minus 1 AP, you just shrug off. 4 plus in Vun, we're not sure. They might go to a 5 up in Vun, they might go to 6 up in Vun, no in Vun, we don't know about the in Vun. But a 2 up save is fantastic, because everyone's saying, yep, yeah, a lot of high strength weapons firing in at 1 damage. Well, with a 2 up save, unless they're minus a lot, which, let's be honest, unless they're plasma, they're not they don't tend to be. But even a plasma is what? Minus three? So it's be minus two, you still got four up save in cover. Actually. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you're still ignoring one damage. And they're gonna be caught. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> now, the last point I wanna go over is do you think in this game that having bigger units that can fire loads of different shots and buff to high heaven is better than having small multiple units. I know from talking to other meta gamers and people who write meta lists that it's very important to have multiple units, multiple small units that are really good at grabbing objectives and hard shift. And we can either go for multiple small units of plague marines, depending on points, or the other role can be filled with blight lord terminators, or a bit of both, let's be honest. But Blight Lord Terminators I can see being key because they can deep strike in for free. They're already small uh, unit and they're tough as nails. Being toughness 5 with a 2 plus save with an invun of some sort is going to be insane. Now, 3 wounds is absolutely phenomenal because with the minus 1 discussing resilient rule, it's going to take 3 overcharged plasmas to take one of these guys down or if they get lucky just three plasmas. It's still three plasmas that are not going into anything else. Or it's going to take yeah, it's going to take three two damage weapons to take one Blight Lord Terminator down, or two three damage weapons. That's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Because it's really awkward because there's no four damage weapons really out there unless you get the old D6 and you roll a four. But they're trying to shift away from the D6 damage and there's not many two damage weapons. They're going to have to get what, three power fists in there, three power fist hits to take down one guy, where it used to take down potentially three. That's how tough they're getting. Obviously, if you get fired up by a las cannon and they roll a six, there's nothing you can do about it. But it's still they need to roll a three plus. Okay, well no, a four plus to take down one of your blight lords. A four plus, a fifty-fifty chance of one-shotting a single Blight Lord Terminator with a Laz Cannon. That is nuts. If you don't agree, do tell me in the comment section down below. But yeah, I can see Blight Lords having a massive, massive place in my list. Just the three wounds, along with Deshra Terminators, because I love their look, and they've got buffed as well. But we're not talking about them today. Plague Marines are always going to have a lovely little place in my heart, but the two wounds is good, but losing Discussion Resilience for them is less effective than it has been for the Blight Lord Terminators, in my opinion. So they're just they're just not as tough. Yeah. Anyway, before I start rambling about discussing resilient, that's all I want to say. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I've missed anything, do write down in the comment section down below. But if you like the video, do hit the like button. And if you're feeling especially saintly today, do consider subscribing. But even if you don't do either of those things, I still hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you ever so much for watching my video. Uh, just a quick note here, if you're interested in horror games or any kind of gaming like that, even Total War, mainly horror though, do consider checking out my other channel that I've just started called Shadow Wraith Realms uh, for that kind of content. And if you want to support me, what I do to give you bigger and better content, do consider signing up to my Patreon and you might even get a free sexy t-shirt in the process. Thank you and goodbye.